the northern Mountain County saw some of the heaviest snowfall. The folks there battled snow covered roads and high winds. News 13's Cheryl Barber continues our live team coverage from Madison County near Wolf Laurel. Cheryl, you say there's about five inches of snow up there, right? Yes, and where it's uh, drifted, it's probably deeper than that. Now, not everybody got this amount of snow, but most had to deal with a stinging wind if they ventured outdoors. I-26 in Madison County appeared to be in the middle of a blizzard this morning, but thanks to repeated passes with the snow plows, drivers only had to struggle with high winds. Yeah, I've had it in four-wheel drive all the way from Johnson City, but no problems whatsoever. Just kind of kept it slow and maintained distance between the other vehicles. It's been rough weather, a lot of wind, real cold, nasty out, ice, a lot of ice underneath the snow. Brandon Scott King loads the salt spreader on his pickup snowplow near Burnsville in Yancey County. He's working on a list of driveways homeowners have hired him to scrape. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting. I didn't think it'd amount to nothing, but this weather blow my mind. The sign says Slick Hill Road, and it's not kidding. King puts the pedal to the metal and scales the mountainside. But he had to repeat the run about five times to break the thick crust of ice beneath a three-inch snow. Slick Hill Road, and it's straight up now. <laughs> it got its name on it. It cuts right through you and keeps going on to the next one. In Mitchell County, residents had to brave winds faster than they were willing to drive. Clouds of snow drifted through the town and chilled it to the bone. It's mostly just blowing around like this because we're right at the foot of the road. So I guess it comes off of there. It's just cold and unbearable and it's hard to get out and move. And yeah, this is about the worst wind. we've. Well, we've had a lot of winds, but this is the coldest and it's just hard to bear. Now these conditions could continue on into the night. As the temperature drops, drivers could face some real serious problems if they don't watch out for black ice and freezing uh, conditions as the slush refreezes all throughout the upper mountains. Reporting live in Madison County, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.